The bigger column had a length of 82 meters and a weight of 512 tons. It was transported within reach of both lift cranes by means of a 12x line single width Schoiler platform trailer with turntable at the front and a double width self propelled cold hover trailer with turntable at the rear of the column. Once again the lifting trunnions were positioned just a few meters above the center of gravity and the temporary bridge was again needed to position the column across the foundation within reach of both lift cranes. To erect this second larger tower one of the TC-3000 cranes stayed in its original position and only the second main lift crane had to be relocated. Both cranes equipped with 54 meters main boom and 50 ton superlift counterweight were connected to the main lifting trunnions and adjusted to the horizontal level of both trunnions so that the inclinometer fitted to the base ring could be set to zero degrees. In addition to the electronic inclinometer a precise bubble spirit was also fitted in case of a power failure. All three cranes then lifted the column out of its transport saddles and both sets of dollies were maneuvered out of the way. By specifying the correct position and type of lifting trunnions these extremely large refinery columns were positioned using two main lift cranes and one tail crane. Both trunnions projected 650 millimeters outside the shell of the column and this was just enough to swing the column in between the boom heads of both DMAC TC3000 cranes. Obviously the type and size of the lifting trunnions should correspond to the size of the crane boom heads. Originally it had been planned that a 400 tons Liebherr hydraulic crane would be used for tailing in as the tail load was just over 90 tons. This was well within the Liebherr's capacity range provided the column was placed correctly. However, unforeseen circumstances meant that at the time of the erection the Liebherr was not available and the CC2000 crawler was used instead. This illustrates another point that is well worth remembering. Try to have a backup crane available to stand in or take over from the planned machine. We all know that this will happen from time to time. The lift has now reached the highest point and the tail crane carefully swings the top of the column between both boom heads. 82 meters and 512 tons is now fully suspended by both TC3000 cranes and can be lowered onto its foundation. <laughs> 